Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Saturday evening episode of Ted's Booth Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted. Now it is currently 6.31 on the 29th of August 2020 with me again your most gracious host Ted. Now this is the second in the row of three episodes that we are doing on a drink by Camden Town Brewery and yesterday we took a look at one of their IPAs now today we'll be taking a look at a pale ale. India pale ales and just sort of standard pale ales are slightly different. I find with a lot of pale ales and juicy pale ales they're slightly juicier, they've got a slightly more golden hue to them and they're a bit sort of like more of a cloudy sort of colour of like gold to them as well. Whereas IPAs are usually a little bit clearer and crisper but they've got a bit more of a bitter kick to their taste at the finish. So this says it's got a malt of Pilsner Wheat, Light Crystal and Munich. Now I like Munich beers, so I'm looking forward to that. It says it's got a yeast of California ale yeast, so it's only got one yeast, so that hopefully the flavour will be nice and simple. And the hops are Kettle of Peril, Citra and Simcoe. Ooh, Citra! Oh, nice! And Dry of Simcoe and Citra. So I'm hoping for like slightly tangy, but a little bit juicy and maybe a bit of a crisp finish here, so hoping that's what it's going to be like. It says on the back as well, we love our American cousins, but sometimes they can be kind of full on. Alright. <laughs> so we've crafted this bit to more British tastes. Made with the American hops, it's still got all the punch of a pale ale, just less shouty. What are they trying to say about the Americans? I mean, Jesus. Um... But yeah, it's 4% alcohol volume, 330 millilitres. Again, I got this for £1.50, like the one from yesterday from Waitrose. So I think that's pretty good value for money, especially considering the strength of the drink as well. I've got to say, I really like the design of this can. I really like just the simple contrast of turquoisey blue, black and white. It's very simple, very clean. 10 out of 10 for the design of the can. Very, very handsome. Also, I just saw on Twitter uh, that Arsenal have beaten Liverpool on penalties in the Community Shield, so congratulations to Arsenal. I'm not an Arsenal fan myself, I am in fact a Charlton Athletics supporter, somewhat regrettably, but, you know. So, let's give this a sniff and see what our first impressions of it are like. So, okay, so there's a little bit of a IPA-ish sort of like singing sort of like bitterness to the smell but there's like overall your standard sort of like juicy pale ale sort of smell like it smells a bit juicy it smells a bit sort of like wet and sort of uh not rich but sort of like vibrant so yeah smells quite nice i'll give the smell a good nine out of ten it smells very pleasant but as always or at least when i remember to we'll have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water first And then we'll taste this little number and see what it's actually like. And I also want to just mention something. I was going to dedicate yesterday's episode to the birthday of my mate Henry, but somewhat regrettably I did forget. So to Henry, I must apologise to you, my dear, but I want to wish you a very happy, very belated and very fortuitous birthday. I hope your future is full of great fortune, happiness and success. And to everyone else on this glorious Saturday, bottoms up. Yeah, I think it's pretty good, actually. It's it's not got really any bitterness. It's not got really any characteristics of, like, an IPA. It kind of feels like a gold ale. That It kind of feels like a cross between a gold ale and a juicy pale ale. So it's kind of got, like, the lagery, clear, crisp aspect of a gold ale combined with, like, the juiciness and sort of, like, the slight zestiness of a juicy pale ale. So it's got an interesting mix of flavours, but they mix together quite well. It's generally pretty smooth. The texture is smoother than the drink from yesterday, and it 
It's got a slight bit of watery, wateriness to the undertones of like the flavours. But it's not as bad as the drink from yesterday in that regard. So, yeah, generally this is pretty good. I feel like... I wish it had a more juicier flavour. And I wish the citrusiness of it was a bit more... Um, a bit more noteworthy, but like generally speaking, I would say this is pretty good. I would also say that the texture of the finish could be a bit smoother. Um, generally, the finish could be a bit smoother, just in general, actually. But overall, this is pretty damn good. I think I'll give it an 8.25 out of 10. I think that's fair. It's probably, probably is nearly close enough to being an elite level beer, but only just... I feel like if they smoothed out the texture a bit, made the citrusiness just a tiny bit more prominent, not by much, just a tiny bit more prominent, I think it would be comfortably an elite level beer. But, as it is, I think 8.0 to 8.25. I think that's fair, honestly. But I mean, this is a good beer. I will probably go out of my way to get this again in the future, especially if it is on deal, because it's nice, and it's pretty good for just like a lazy Saturday afternoon when you're uh, just wanting to relax. So, yeah. Pretty damn good stuff. I will gladly get some more of this in the future. And again, another solid beer by Camden Town Brewery. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you want to suggest any other drinks for future episodes of this show, leave your suggestions in the comments section down below. And if you want to check out any... Pardon me. If you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description down below. But, as always, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you when you go to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits, and, as I said earlier, a very, very happy belated birthday to my good friend Henry. I hope it's an absolutely lovely day for you, and, oh, sorry, rather that yesterday was an absolutely lovely day for you, and you got up to all sorts of rambunctious happy activities, and you got all the presents you wanted. And until next time, I'll see you guys at the bar on Ted's Booth Cellar. Bye.